This is the case of a 15-year-old male who came into the office due to a golfing injury. During a swing, he had injured his low back. And it was all the typical golfing injuries that we would see. Worse upon flexion, worse when he's bending, worse in the morning. He was also getting one headache a week. After we took the pictures out, it turned out to be his cervical spine was in far worse condition than his lower back was. I know this is a bit more difficult to see due to the, just the lighting, but um, I want to show you exactly how his body was adapting here. This is a plumb line straight through L5, and I draw this line just straight up to see how the body is adapting. I want to start here down at the lower spine. You can see his lower, lower uh, the lumbar region here is very, very flat. That line right there is, an, that line goes through the anterior part of L1, and L1 is actually 11 millimeters in front of that line. Very, very flat. I know this is a bit more difficult to see too, but T6, the anterior inferior body of T6, is only 20 millimeters in front of, excuse me, behind the plumb line. So it's very, very flat spine here. Not a lot, not very good for cushioning. The big concern now is what's going on here in the cervical spine. Now this is for a very, very young age to have a complete reversal of that cervical curve. Now he had complained of headaches once a week, but over time, had nothing been done about this, what would have happened is, as this abnormal weight bearing is happening here at C4, especially in 3, what would happen is the discs would start to get degenerated and eventually the body would stabilize that with more bone spurring and arthritis. And that's very, very severe. And that can happen as early as he's in his 20s. So this is a very big deal to this kid. What they're calling that these days, is they're calling this condition right here text neck, which is a complete reversal of the cervical curve here. And they're seeing it a lot more in younger children here. This is from Dr. Kenneth Hansraj. Of the, he's the chief of spine surgery at New York Spine Surgery and Rehabilitation Medicine in New York City. And this is coming from him. If the human head weighs a dozen pounds, as that neck bends forward, it's putting more and more stress on the cervical spine here. Uh, for instance, at a 15 degree angle, this is gonna, head is going to weigh, instead of 12 pounds, it's going to weigh 27 pounds. 30 degrees, it's going to weigh 40 pounds. At 60 degrees, this thing is weighing 60 pounds. And that's just based on the weight physics. Here's what also the article says, and you can get this article at the link below. Experts say it can reduce lung capacity as much as 30%. It's also been linked to headaches and neurological issues, depression and heart disease. Now chiropractors have known this for a long time, and it's not the reversal of the cervical curve that is the problem. The problem is any type of damage to the nerve. And when you get a restricted nerve impulse from the brainstem down through the body, the body starts to break down and function. And that could create all the problems that Dr. Hansraj just said. So I'm going to show you what happened. We started adjusting him. What we found was this condition called subluxation. So we started to adjust him. And I want to show you how his body adapted here. Once we start, started correcting the subluxation. The first thing is the plumb line, of course, is, driven, is drawn straight up from L5. And so we did that on the post x-ray too. At L1, L1, the anterior inferior body of L1, is 11 millimeters in front of this line. Now the plumb line directly touches L1. So there's an 11 millimeter change there. In the mid thoracics, the 20 millimeter T6 is 20 millimeters posterior to this line. Now it's 32 millimeters posterior. So he's actually developed more of a kyphosis here and he's not so straight. That's over a 50% change. In the neck, what you'll see is the complete reversal of that cervical curve starts to develop into a much more normal curve. Where before he was 12 millimeters posterior to that line, now he's 15 millimeters anterior to that line. I want to show this a little bit more of a close-up so you can get a comparison and see how the body's changed. Once again, 11 millimeters anterior to the plumb line. Now it's directly in line with the plumb line. In the mid thoracics, here's T6 right here, 20 millimeters behind that line. Now it's 32 millimeters behind that line, developing into a much more nicer curve here. You can see the structure in the spine. In the neck here, you can see the complete reversal of the curve. 
And over here you can see that curve coming back to a much more normal looking anterior cervical curve. Now, the goal is not to correct the x-ray. That's not the problem. The goal is to find and correct the subluxation. And once we could get the pressure off the nerve, the body can begin to remodel itself into a much more normal place. The thing that I want to note here in the x-rays is we take very uh, special care to place the person properly. You can see the palatine plate is straight, uh, parallel with the ground on both the before and after x-rays. So that is completely, that is not any photoshopping. That is because his body restructured that curve. Here's what he told me, significant improvement. He said, the back doesn't hurt when golfing, better bending, better in the morning, and no more headaches. So every condition that we found on him when he came in was all cleared up. All that, however, is minor to the neurologic damage that happens when you have a subluxation. According to the Washington Post article here, experts say that not only you can have pain from this, but other neurologic conditions, lung capacity decreases, headaches, depression. Even though he's not experiencing any of those conditions right now, it's very conceivable that if this condition would have progressed in the future, he could have certainly had some of them, especially at such a young age. Instead of waiting to get to a point where you need to talk to Dr. Hans Raj, a spinal surgeon out of New York, it might be a good idea to check with your chiropractor to see if they can help.